Welcome to Insight Builder channel, data leaders, big data learners and my dear friends. We are going to start configuring the single node Hadoop cluster that we have already set up. So in the previous series of videos, you must have already set up the cluster from uh, by using your AWS or GCP or Azure uh, cloud uh, EC2 instance and now in this in this series of videos after uh, uh, from this starting from this series of video we are going to work on these two steps so we have completed these four steps now we are going to work on these two steps the individual steps that we are going to do are to get the executables the installation uh, files for Hadoop Hive and Spark complete each of these installations separately and also we need to install yarn we need to install Java all this activity will be taken there uh, step by step ensure that you follow each step as per the video only the thing is that i have already consolidated uh, most of the steps from uh, from the place where i have learned i learned it learned about uh, big data hadoop cluster from uh, from mr durga gadiraju the installation that he had shared with me, uh, he has shared with everybody, the installation details are available in the GitHub also. The, uh, that particular installation process, I have uh, tried it a couple of times and then out of that, I have uh, thought about certain modifications and I have created this video, this series of video to, to make the uh, process more streamlined and more uh, helpful to everybody. So that is the that is how this entire video series has uh, come to uh, come to birth. So I have, uh, I have this uh, the scripts that I am using and the uh, couple of configuration files also I have used borrowed from uh, Durga Gadiraju sir's uh, installation process. He explains everything in his video also. But in my video, I would like to show how to actually do the uh, do the configuration in a more streamlined fashion so that it will be easier for you guys to come up to speed in limited amount of time that is the most important uh, uh, point of this series of video if you want to have in detail steps it's better that you have to further do your research also with this i would like to uh, go to the next step where we are going to go to the terminal and in the terminal first and foremost you must have uh, you must have used your connection uh, string from uh, any of your cloud environment and you should have already logged into ssh into your cloud uh, cluster now in the cloud cluster ensure that first and foremost your docker is running so docker yes a should show that the docker is up and running okay this is first and foremost thing if not start the docker second we need to do one of the uh, we have to pull one of the git repos so you have to use git already git is installed we have seen that so we have to say git clone and then just paste this link so this link i will be sharing it uh, over the uh, over the youtube uh, description so use that and clone this i have already cloned this repo so this repo, this cloning will create this emr ins underscore instance dot practice under your home directory. We are going to use this repo extensively for uh, various uh, processes. As of so, from now uh, we have to understand the, what is there inside the repo. So let us first cd into the repo, and you will see that there are lot of files that uh, we can actually. We, uh, this is the repo that I have been using for uh, researching. Uh, uh, researching how to uh, how to install uh, Hadoop cluster and uh, the various uh, various uh, so, uh, commands that is required has been also uh, consolidated. The data sets that I, I was trying to work with also also has been consolidated here. So this repo will continue to improve uh, as we start adding more data, more data, and more details into this. The the two folders that uh, we have to concentrate is ec2 underscore emr files this particular repo we need to concentrate this particular file we need to concentrate sorry it's uh, it's very very big and we need to use cluster underscore configs so these two folders contain the considerable amount of information that we need to work with okay so let us first see what is there in the ec2 instance 
and if you see that ec2 instance uh, ec2 emr files has got lot of uh, uh, lot of files without any extension okay these three files are actually the dash rc profile files so we will look into that later as of now you don't need to worry you need to you need to open you need to open emr underscore installation dot text so i hope that you are uh, comfortable with uh, vim editor if not i would suggest to take a look at uh, the other video where i had shown how to install vim editor and how to practice it uh, in docker environment so take a look at the video i'll be joining i mean attaching that video with this uh, with this video so that will be helpful for you in this uh, instance if you are going to see vim and if i say uh, let me first of all cd into ec2 emr files and uh, then i say vim emr installation dot text okay so the moment uh, the moment i do this you see that i am uh, there are lots of information available in this initially when i started working on this uh, installation process i had used a different ec uh, amazon uh, ami so i had used a centos rhl based linux but it took a lot of additional uh, uh, configuration required so then i had stopped that and i favored the debian based ubuntu installation so that all this research i have kept it here so you can see it for yourself and these are the uh, these are the location so these links are what we are going to use for getting the uh, getting the hadoop time and uh, the, this is this driver file uh, is required uh, this guava file is required for connecting hive with uh, uh, the postgres and also we will need to get the postgres ql driver so that also i will show you how to do that from maven and also spark 3 so these are the major uh, files that that we are going to work with so first and foremost we have to work with hadoop file so hadoop uh, installation so uh, before that we need to also do couple of things i just want to show this first so let us exit quit out of this so quitting is uh, press escape uh, colon q and exclamation mark press enter you will quit out of it the next file that we need to uh, Worry about this b y o b deploy dot s h. So this file has the it starts with basic configuration. This file can be actually used as a script also. However, I have not used it as script. There are lots of notes notes in this which has been commented out. Okay, you will be extensively using this also. You can refer to this if you are facing any problem. So from from the start to end, whichever uh, steps you are going to follow has been documented in this file. okay so that is the scenario here that is what i wanted to show these are the two files so with that i would like to move out and start by checking one important thing so this particular we need to have java installed so without java it will not work so if we do a java version check you see that java is not there so we need to first of all install java into the into the into this cluster into this uh, ec2 instance so what we have to do is and also we need to install wget also so wget is the way we are, we are going to get the so wget is installed so so not be wrong so we have to install the java for sure so for that we need to use uh, sudo app install so we have to use sudo app install uh, open jdk open sorry open jdk should not have a uh, open jdk 8 and jdk so this is the version we need to we need to use uh, the jdk version 8 and we need to say yes so sudo apt install open jdk hyphen 8 hyphen jdk and we say with a switch so this will continue the and complete the installation and once that is installed we need to check whether the java version is available so we need to have the java version properly uh, shown in the uh, shown in, in this particular uh, cluster uh, the spark 
and uh, Hive, Hadoop, all programs are primarily written in Java. So Java definition and uh, Java runtime environment is extensively used. In fact, it is written in Java. So it is extensively used there. That is why we are, uh, and also this particular version of Java only we have to use. Uh, don't uh, try to use some other version, it will not work. The, the dependencies will not work and uh, it will not uh, execute properly. So we see that we, you should get the same number there and uh, you should be able to get this 64-bit uh, server uh, VM. Uh, so you should be able to get all this uh, feedback from once you get Java uh, version. Once you are, once you are uh, able to get the Java installed, after that we will actually start pulling the all the um, we will start pulling out all the softwares first so that we will have it in our local environment so it will be easier for us to work with. So what I am going to do is I am going to tell the EC2 instance EMR EMR installation file so if I tail it, uh, so tail is a command where uh, which I can use to get the last 10 lines of any of the files. So I am trying to get the last 10 lines of emr installation dot text. So where I have all the uh, all the uh, file that I am going to download. So just copy it like this, and we can say w get. So this is very easier rather than you know using some other root. So that's why I requested you to download the GitHub repo by using Git uh, clone and then uh, use that Git repo for doing all this activity. So if I do wget right now, so it will start immediately pulling the data from the internet. So this is what it is doing right now. Since uh, this is already inside the, it's around 478 MB, you see that this is downloading at a very high speed because it's already in cloud, right? It's not local. So it's in the cloud, so it is downloading at rapid speed. So ensure that you download it and keep it in your uh, local environment. And then we will start executing separate files uh, one by one. So that is the first download that we need to do. And then we will download the Apache Hive also. So copy it like this. And uh, you can, if you are unable to copy it uh, directly like this, then you can actually open the github file separately in your uh, in your uh, browser and from there also you can copy it and paste it inside the terminal so that is also allowed that will also work because we are uh, right now this terminal is in your local environment correct so you can copy paste from your clipboard into the terminal so that will work so this is one of the benefits of having ssh in your local terminal and then working on the cloud so and it's also extremely fast you don't even think that, okay, uh, I'm working on some other mission. So uh, let me again do a tail. So whenever the uh, window goes up like this, do a control, uh, uh, control L so that it will clear. And then that will actually give you space to uh, open the file again and start working on that. So these are all things that uh, you will, this is all the way I work to make my life easy. You can uh, work in the way that is more comfortable for you guys. So you see that the guava.jr is just 2.6 MB, so it got, got downloaded really fast. And uh, so Spark 2.4.8, I will not be installing. I will be direct installing 3.1 only. So that is the thing. And uh, wget. So with this, we will be actually getting all the softwares downloaded to our local environment. And uh, with this particular uh, step, I would like to end this video, okay, because we have, uh, we have started the actual process. Now, from the next video, we will start extracting and start configuring. So, uh, stay tuned for that video and I hope that you also follow the same process, get the, uh, uh, once you have seen the video, uh, complete the process and then come to the next video. So, or you can do like this, that you complete all the videos, understand what the entire process is and then also you can do it one by one. Whichever way uh, suits you best, you can try that. And we see that all the files are downloaded here. Next. In the, from the next step, what we will be doing is we will be extracting these files and we will be doing uh, doing a lot of steps that is actually linked with creating the configurations uh, configuration. So uh, I'll be uh, delving deeper into the configuration in the next uh, next couple of videos. So get ready for that. So right now, let us uh, go to the presentation back and uh, 
So right now we have downloaded the HCG tables to get ourselves ready. So we will start the installation from the next step and we will start next video and we will start pushing forward. The most important point is that right now we have completed the base uh, activity. So we have set up the Ubuntu, it is ready, Java environment and uh, various other software that is required in Ubuntu is already installed, Docker Postgres is already configured in the earlier videos. And now we are going to start earnestly to set up the Hadoop cluster, the single node cluster. So you will see that once you understand the configuration processes, it will be very smooth. So with this guys, stay tuned for the next video and uh, ensure that you start subscribing to my channel so that you get more updated information as I upload the videos in my channel and you will get the notification in your YouTube dashboard. With this guys, practice the each step that I have shared till now so it will be helpful for you also to uh, bring uh, build your own uh, big data cluster. With this, see you guys.